and welcome. I'm Katherine Forbes, Squarespace expert, Squarespace authorized trainer, and Squarespace circle member. And I'm founder of the Nashville-based website design company, Designing the Row. Today I want to show you how to add music to your Squarespace website. And there are several different ways, so I'm just going to dive in and show them all to you. So you can see I have a page set up here with a list of ways to show you how to do this. So let's start with the Spotify song. If you have a single and you just want to add that one single to your page, let me show you how to do it. So I have my Music Biz Besties playlist pulled up here and I'm just gonna use Tori's first song here as the example. So when I hover over her song here, you see these three buttons or three little dots that pop up on the right hand side that say more. When I click on that, it gives me the option to share. And then let's first copy the song link. I'm going to come back to my Squarespace site and add a block and pick the embed code block. And then I'm going to paste and apply. And there you can see her song takes up the whole screen. I can add a spacer next to it and resize the song however I'd like. Now let's go back to Spotify. I'm gonna click those three dots again, share, and then copy embed code. Let's go back to the site. I'm gonna to click to add another block, but this time I'm gonna scroll down and select the code block. And I'm just gonna delete this hello world and paste the iframe from Spotify. And you can see this song is a lot smaller than the first song. So when you just copy the song link and put it in the embed block, it lets you control the look and size of what you are embedding. When you use the code block in the Spotify iframe code, it controls the width and the height for you here. It also controls how it's aligned to the left. Um, so if you would rather use this embed code but align it to the center, I'm going to Command X to cut that. And here is how you would center this code. So just div align equals center and paste that iframe back in. And now you can see it's centered within the code block. So the exact same applies for adding a whole playlist. I'm going to come back to Spotify here and click these three buttons on my Music Biz Besties playlist as a whole. Share, copy playlist link. I'm going to add this embed block here. Paste that link and apply. And again, you can see the playlist takes up the whole width of the page. I'm going to come back and this time I'm going to share, copy embed code add the code block and this time I'm going to go ahead and add the align. When you do this in Squarespace as I put this closing bracket in you'll see it automatically closes the div for me. So I'm going to paste that iframe there, apply, and there's the smaller default Spotify playlist. I'm going to come back here and edit and you can see the width and the height right here. If you want to make the height of the playlist longer, say you're embedding your album and it has 10 songs and you want them all to show, just pop in a different number right here for height. I have a lot of songs on this playlist so I wouldn't make it as long as the playlist is, but you can control these numbers right here however you'd like. So that is a benefit to using this code block rather than the embed. So let's pop that over here next to this playlist. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. And so there you can see the difference here. When we move this, the embed block changes based on the size it's given, and the code block stays the same. Now let's talk about adding an MP3 track to your page. Come here and click and add the audio block right here next to the embed block. And all you have to do is upload your audio track here. You can click and drag or click to search the files on your computer to get the MP3. It will usually automatically add the title and artist if that is already programmed in the track. 
and then you can come over here to design. If you would like people to be able to download this track from your website, just click this little show download link and you can see that popped over here on the bottom right hand corner of this track. You can change the style to classic, which makes it smaller and gives it rounded corners. <laughs> or in the minimal style, you can change it to light. So it's super simple. This is what the title and artist would look like. And then apply. And just a side note, I usually prefer to add Spotify playlist or songs rather than the actual mp3 to the website because then you can get the streams, you can quickly send people to your Spotify, and it's just more beneficial, in my opinion, to get those streams or potential followers on Spotify than just simply adding the mp3 track. So now let's talk about SoundCloud. I pulled up just a random um, top indie artist over here from SoundCloud, and I'm going to copy this URL of the playlist, and I'm going to add the SoundCloud block, which right now is the very last block option, and paste that there, and apply. And you can see that adds, just like the first Spotify we did where it takes up the whole screen, so you can add spacers, and rearrange your SoundCloud however you like. The last option to add music to your website is to create a full album. And let's show you how to do that. So under this not link section, I'm just gonna click plus to add a new page. And you can see this option right here under collections is an album. Call that new music. You can see you can add album art, info, description, and tracks here. Um, I don't have a lot of tracks ready just to pull and show you this, so I'm just going to show you on my other site an album page that's already complete and filled out. So you can see here I've stuck a picture, title, description, and then these are all of my tracks. And this is what the page looks like when completed. So you can click here to listen to the tracks. You can see go across as it goes. It will, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, the gray line will become black to show you where you are in the track. You've got the time over here. And this is what an album page looks like. So instead of lining up a whole bunch of those individual bulky, um, let's see, where's my music page? Instead of lining up a bunch of those individual MP3 track players, that could get pretty bulky. You could do your album like this. Again, if it's on Spotify, I would recommend that. But these are all the ways that you can add music to your website. If you have any questions about anything I just went over or anything that you are looking to do and are trying to find the answer, just leave it for me. Leave your questions for me in the comments, and I'm happy to help you out.